Hello, my name is Nevis and I'm going to explain the meaning and use of podcasts for EFL Talks, 10 slides in 10 minutes for terms, a video glossary. A teacher and learner resource created by Rob Howard. Understanding the term podcast. Firstly, the dictionary meaning is always a good starting point. And here the Oxford Dictionary defines podcast as a digital audio file made available on the internet for downloading to a computer or mobile device, typically available as a series. New instalments of which can be received by subscribers automatically. In other words, it is an audio recording of one or more people talking or music being played in a format that is digital which can be transmitted over the internet. A podcast can be a live interaction in as much as a pre-recorded event. Now let's take a look at how audio recordings have evolved over the recent years. Audio to podcast. Here are some images which may be familiar to some, especially for those of us who were already in the teaching profession in the late 1980s. The audio tape in the centre was the most common form of listening for language learners, not to mention the alternative to listening to music in the car, at home, in the office, via an appropriate tape player, the first image on the left is of course still used today for professional use in the music and movie industries. Nowadays, we educators are more likely to use CDs or DVDs in the classroom as they are still the most common form of textbook audio and video sharing method. This is mainly due to the lack of internet in some country areas or sometimes Students do not have access to internet in their own homes, but are more likely to have access to a CD or DVD player. However, the lowered costs and now common use of MP3 players is also another viable method for listening to digital podcasts. History of the podcast. The history of the podcast began in the mid-1990s when there was a need for the average person to listen to an audio recording for vocal or musical content via the internet. Even for events like live internet radio shows, which began to appear on the internet where live recorded or archived content was available and mostly free to subscribers. Hence, the need to perfect a form of audio file format that was no longer physical, like the audio tape for tape recorders, but that provided the exact same thing. Also, there soon became a need for the listeners or educators to interact with their own produced audio files. EFL Talks is a great example of live recorded podcasting and or webcasting via the internet. Education Podcasts The advent of internet has meant that learners who have ready internet access even in their homes or on their smartphones can easily access all sorts of information or leisure products directly without having to stand in lines for a book at the local library or even spending money as most information on the internet is free. There are also audiobooks available for students to purchase at a lesser cost than the paperback version which also makes for lighter school bags. But obviously the fact is that in this fast, technologically advancing world, is internet access or connectivity as viable for everyone? Unfortunately for some people, in remote country towns or even certain nations, the internet connection is often non-existent. Yet in other situations, 
The costs associated with access are also a deciding factor, even for some schools. How to make a podcast. The most important tool for creating your own podcast is the use of a professional or semi-professional microphone. So making this investment at the start is worthwhile. The next is understanding and making use of free audio production software. One of the best free audio production software is Audacity. There are useful tutorials that can help guide you to make the best use of this software too. It is as important to remember that the recording is shared publicly and will normally be available for anyone to download. So be aware of copyright infringements. What you say will be out there and can boomerang. Tools for podcast production. The most important tools apart from your own laptop or computer are the microphone, which once bought well is a wise choice and will last quite a number of years. The other is a very good software program for producing the audio recording. There are many instructive tutorials online that do help understand how to get the best out of your software. Then once you have learned how to use it, your podcast will sound professional. I use podcasts for language tuition, hence the need to produce clear recordings for listening activities. Sharing your podcast. Podcasts do not have to be public. You can make a podcast for your group of friends, family, students, learners, colleagues or even your pets. Remember, a collection of music is also a podcast. Making a podcast with your own music and voice message for the holidays is just as important in its production as a podcast for professional or educational use. Sharing can be via email by adding it as an attachment or link to a cloud account, example Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, etc. Also by uploading to media sharing sites, either with public access or private only access. Have your say with a conscience. Remember always to be as professional as possible when producing material for your podcast, or for that matter, recording the podcast. The podcast is a form of communication which once shared in the public domain will always be open to criticism, hence think carefully about what you are going to say. In order to give you an idea of the many uses of podcasting for teaching or training purposes, this presentation has a page podcast for every slide in the presentation, plus a complete podcast of the whole presentation. Just click on the speaker icon on every slide or the final slide for the complete version. Enjoy. Reference links. Here are some reference links used in this presentation. Thank you for listening. 10 in 10 for Terms has been another EFL Talks presentation by Nevis Teresi.